Morning everyone, uh, 9.45am in the European session here, um, just going to have a quick look at Bitcoin and a couple of other assets to see what's going on before we jump into the live on Discord in the US session later on. So immediately, first thing we're looking at is, I'm just looking at the order book changes, what's happened overnight on Bitcoin, we're still here at the top of this range. Uh, currently 37,680 ish um, and this the whole top of this range is really this is 2% here we've been here for a while so I'm sure we will get expansion soon um, order book changes 12 hour um, you've got some liquidity built to the upside um, but it's still this kind of recycled 38.5 zone where um, we've hit it here got our major supply from last Friday and then we've hit it a couple more times and failed to crack through so one two three and then you've got a little bit of a lower high here on the one hour um, so it remains to be seen if we're gonna get acceptance here in this zone and then follow back up or do we just start to auction lower uh, POC coming in at about 37k so maybe we go and retest this area take out some of this lower liquidity here under 37.3 we'll have a look at the daily uh, OBC soon um, and then bounce up but I'd certainly want to see more demand coming in um, volumes kicked up here on the perps market but real lackluster price action and we can just see that the spot market is starting to come away now um, and we'll be able to see that in the overlays and the ratios on the order book as well spot are really not interested in this zone at the minute um, so you're going to have to basically auction lower to find that demand. Um, now, stipulation there, yes, a market buyer can come in, okay, and just absolutely chad it and just send this flying up. You know, who's to know someone doesn't just come in with, you know, 500 million market buyers and just start t whapping this up or something. Maybe that's going to happen. But at the minute, on the books, across exchanges, there's not much bid here. Now, what I don't want to see is this vol volume from the bigger boys and girls con continue to come off um, as open interest rises um, it's signature of a, a bigger flush to be honest um, funding's not too bad um, but regardless if people are getting bored here and saying uh, you know I'm gonna start taking profit this is not moving uh, time decay basically then you know it's gonna start dropping um, so just keep an eye on that so higher points in time one day yeah, you're going to have to really fly up and, and start taking that 38.5 level. And to the downside, I'd still like a sweep near 37. That would be really nice. And then if we go to the two day that I really like, again, we can see here 38.3. You're going to have to go and take out this liquidity all the way up to 38.9 now. Um, and with signs of weakness up here, I'm not sure if we get that straight away. I'd prefer a more downside, to be honest. Um, and as we can see on the, see on the two day, your liquidity here is stacked right down to 36.6 so these are the kind of like you want to go and test these orders fill them and then you get this liquidity gap here so you'd be looking for bounces there really 36.6 initially and then you just check the order flow from there who is bidding this level do we get a bounce up okay so just just yeah keep an eye on that um, if we just quickly go to the 15 minute um, we can see spot is really coming out the market um, and yeah perps bigger players which is this blue line here not much going on from them again the only thing to keep an eye on here is if this smaller red line which is 10,000 uh, US dollars and under orders so take 10k and under orders if this continues to rise with the open interest um, I can really foresee a, a bit of a flush going um, from the volume king so that is that if um, let's have a quick look at if while we're on here and see where if is in the range uh, okay so yeah supply supply on if not a lot to see from the CVDs to be honest let's just check that fixed range and see where we are on if uh, let's pull it from there and see where that lies okay so yeah the the value areas on ETH just adjusting a little bit here um, it's rejecting the POC at the minute and we're probably just going to come down to the the range lows I would say so 2k there for the value area low on ETH and if we just cross check that with the order book 
yep so there you go so wicks under 2k would be really really nice 1980 there is your big gap um big order there at 1920 do we go that far maybe not i mean i wouldn't bet on it but unless we get a big flush maybe uh, liquidity stacked to the upside here on the two day at 2070 you probably have to go actually be beyond, uh, beyond 2100 um, but I do quite like that for any wicks down so you know it's kind of trade you want with no fear uh, if we come down to those levels uh, just watch the order flow so yeah 1980 it's only just below this value area low and it would take out these wicks here that would be really really nice to see from me okay um, if we zoom in on the daily 1920 again yeah but yeah under under 2k would be really nice wicks on eve um, and if we're still in a strong trending market that'd be really nice to see you know don't, don't fear it just watch the order flow and potentially you can catch a bid uh, so yeah, just looking at the overlays, this level is still capping BTC. That was our short that I mentioned the other day in the video that if you were still short from there, I would be tempted to say hold some of that as a head short on perps against your spot positions. Um, and it's still valid because we're not taking this area and you know, here we are. And as we can see in the ratios, just no bid depth whatsoever. Bitstamp have got a little bit coming in there, but I'm not too fussed about them really. Um, you've got nothing from USDT Binance, nothing from Coinbase. Uh, and Qcoin that have been really reliable order books actually, they've been selling some up here. And they've got their levels at 36.3 now. So do we have confluence at 36.3 with anyone else? Uh, not really. I think some of the biggest orders on um, Binance are coming in a lot lower, actually, to be honest. So 35, we'll see. This can soon drop and then, you know, um, the market develops and we start to get bid down here. Um, we'll see. Yeah, and perps not interested here whatsoever which is dangerous for price action you want to you know come down auction this and send and then see these guys really come in and start to bid this back up while you've got low funding okay so yeah preferably i'd still like to see some downside um doesn't mean i'm bearish it's just that's where the chunk of liquidity is um depth has been good here as we pushed up um but fading a little bit now um if we just have a quick look at eth as well while we're here Yep, not a lot to see. Uh, these are your range lows, so take these range lows on a wick, that'd be really nice. It hits supply, not a lot to see. If BTC is catching some bid, so that's good to see. Um, so if we do come down, I do like to see that for alts to make a run up. Um, at the same time, the BTC dominance is due to come down a little bit. So maybe any, if the dominance is going to come down, maybe any drops on BTC are quite subtle and alts don't suffer as much anyway. Um, that's one thing to to keep an eye on. But yeah, I like to see ETH BTC bid. Um, it makes me confident that if we get any drops, um, you know, you can you can deploy some capital into um, into those alt longs quite safely, I think. Um, ETH BTC up, BTC dominance down, generally good, good for the alts, okay? So yeah, at the minute, you've still got no demand. Um, I'd like to see this a lot lower. Um, just just go and wipe out some of that liquidity um, as open interest is still quite hot up here, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's it for BTC. Ideally, go and take a chunk of that liquidity lower. If we just look at the multi-chart, um, coins to watch, I'm quite liking Polkadot if we come down, fill some more of this demand out. Um, I quite like Gala as well. And a few others, there's, there's still a lot of altcoins that look great on the daily chart. Um, so if we come down, real good opportunity just to fill some spot bags. Um, so yeah, there we are. Go and check some liquidity lower if we can, please. Crypto gods, and we'll go from there. I'd be still tempted to hold some of these shorts as hedge, if anything. You know, I'm not. I'm not particularly expecting mega nukes, but just as a humble trader, I would like the market lower. It's just easier to trade and makes sense to go and go and find that demand. Go and auction price lower, find that demand. Um, one thing I was just going to say, which I mentioned in one of our Discord chats the other day was, uh, Dixie is just coming down, this on a daily chart, to what you would call some some demand zone. Is this our support zone on, Zip, on Dixie? Uh, Triple Qs has had an absolute screamer 
um, and is straight up only gold futures is just coming up to a supply zone here as everyone gets bullish on gold it's probably due to correct um, and the same with e-mini futures you know great trend all year long comes down absolutely scams everybody here um, posted this in the discord and we're up to supply zone again or potential potential chill out risk off reversal zone um, so just keep an eye on that I, I still believe Bitcoin will do its own thing um, but yeah if markets are going slightly risk off you know as as we all know CME open interest on Bitcoins at all-time highs if those guys start to close out some positions as we've not got demand on BTC you know you're gonna see some corrections and all you want to do just embrace it just be prepared for it embrace it if we do get those corrections um so yeah okay we'll see how the day goes we'll be live in the discord at the us session today and we'll hopefully see everyone there cheers bye